So for a while now, a lot of Asians have been complaining about admissions in colleges. They feel that affirmative action has been preventing them from getting into college because black people have been allowed in these colleges and they don't really qualify to be there. So they have been very, very upset by that. So they have joined with the white supremacist and they, they really think that unraveling affirmative action, which actually benefited them in actually more than black people actually in this country, they really believe unraveling that is going to really help them with college admissions. Now they say that equal education activist groups rallied in Washington DC uh, past Sunday as the Supreme court could be prepared to strike down a longstanding president of using race as a factor for admissions in the university system. The high court will hear oral arguments in students for fair admissions versus Harvard college and students for fair admissions versus university of Carolina at Chapel Hill on Monday. It said a landmark suit, uh, argue and said that the university unfairly discriminated against Asian American student applicants and say the two cases could put in jeopardy a 40 year practice by universities across the country, Asian American and educational rights organizations held an equal right education rights for all rallies uh, Sunday in support of the plaintiff of uh, students for fair admissions. They say if the Supreme court forbids the use of race and ethnicity in college admissions as it should, and so the opinion might begin the restoration of our nation's constitutional colorblind legal covenant. <laughs> oh boy. See, th this is why, this is why a lot of black Americans are really going on this anti immigration deal because these Asian Americans didn't suffer a freaking thing that we suffered in this country not a thing. Black Americans fought at the time for affirmative action because this color blindness means white. Black people was not allowed in the colleges. Black people weren't allowed in certain schools. Black people weren't allowed in jobs. Black people weren't allowed in certain restaurants. Black people weren't allowed in a whole lot of things, right? And the reason why they fought for that, the original drafting at the time was for black people. So black people can get jobs, black people can have opportunity. But then after Kennedy died, Johnson and them reworded it and added minority instead of black, allowed the term women, which meant white women. So now affirmative action, which was initially meant for us, became a free for all. And now you look at it today, black folks don't really benefit from affirmative action like that as they should. The people who fought for it. Dr. Claude Anderson said long while ago that affirmative action should actually go away because these other groups benefit more than us. You got to think about it. White women benefit more from affirmative action than any other group. Then white LGBT, then white disabled benefit from affirmative action. That's within the white community. Then you talk about the Asian. They benefit from affirmative action for sure. Hispanics, Arabs, uh, uh, East Indians, Native Americans, whoever, everybody else benefit from affirmative action. Black folks are at the bottom of that. So these people really think that getting rid of affirmative action is going to benefit them in college. They think that America is a fair place and they just vote. They, they, they vote, <laughs> they, they should vote some things, but they really judge things based on what's equal and fair. These people that that's doing this, you think you're not in college now? Oh boy. But you know what? You know I me, mean? I'm a type of guy. I'm all, I'm all for accelerating things and, and getting, and let's go ahead and confront things. What it is. Let's go ahead. You know what? Let them strike it down. No problem. Cause you know what was going to have to happen at that point. Black folks will have to carry their behinds to the HBCUs where they belong. Number one. All that great talent, black people bring these uh, predominantly white institutions, PWIs. All that great talent should be going to the HBCUs. The HBCUs should be billion dollar institutions. Okay? That's number one. Number two, you think these Ivy League places are going to be letting y'all in? When, if that goes away, do you really think they're going to be letting y'all in like that? No. It's going to be all mostly white people. These white supremacists are using the Asian community to get, to get the roll back things that black people fought for. This is why black folks are talking about all this immigration. Cause see they, the, the white supremacists not doing this on their own. 
They using Asians to do it, other groups. And black folks have helped Asians all the way around in this country. All the way around black folks have helped Asians. And look at once again, what Asian Americans are doing to black Americans. Lied on us with the stop Asian hate thing. Cause all of a sudden when they got the hate crime bill, no, no Asian hate, it went away, I guess. And now this is what's going on. But you know what? I, I, like I said, I hope you get what you want. I hope the Supreme Court give you exactly what you want. And I'm going to sit back and watch because I know white supremacy. I know these people. I know how they are. You're going to be really complaining then. Then you're going to be trying to get yourself an HBCUs at that point. Because you're going to be like, I can't even go to these institutions because they won't allow me. Well, the first thing I'm going to say, what you fought for. That what you wanted. You really thought these people was going to actually be equal and fair to you? Seriously? Now, Rally Gore said at the time, argued these policies were racist and discriminatory. Is some uh, carry sign say that fixed K through 12 do not scapegoat Asians. It said judged by content of characters and not skin color. And my race should not hurt me in admissions. <laughs> and yet your race is helping you get in admissions as of right now. It is. But see, but notice something. Just because a black person got in, they don't know that black person's test scores. They don't know nothing with this black person got going on. But in their in they white supremacist mind, they have too. They look at black people. Oh no, you, you had to get in just because of a uh, race. They, they not to say that black people have to have the SAT scores and if black people do get in these colleges, they don't make the grades. They out race. Don't keep you in the college. It doesn't. It may get you uh, a little bit more opportunity, but it doesn't keep you in the school. That's another thing they're not paying attention to, but to them. Oh no, no, no. But see within their own community, let's call it what it is. They don't like the dark Asians. They don't like the Filipinos. They don't like the Cambodians. They, I, I know for sure that they don't like the Vietnamese. They don't like the uh, uh, people from Thailand. You know, some of them darker Asians. They have a lot of anti, you know, black, anti, you know, a lot of just colorism, everything else within their own group. So, but you know what? I hope you get what you want. I seriously do. Because I'm all for I'm all for black people working together. Because I know one thing about my people, we work best when we're not comfortable. We build something when we're not comfortable. We 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 go to the stars when we're not comfortable anymore. We can't look at a uh, 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 white mommy and white daddy to do anything for us. We we do very well. So let them roll it back. Go ahead. Don't no problem with me. But when it happens. You know one thing I'm gonna say? Well, hey, y'all upset by affirmative action? That, that's the Asian Americans. They did that. They the one was pushing that issue. It was them. They led the charge. So if it happens, don't blame don't blame black folk. If it happens, blame them. I'm gonna let you know ahead of time. But y'all let me know in the comments y'all think about this situation that's up before the Supreme Court. And I think it probably gets struck down because they have a Republican majority now. Let's see what happens. Hey brothers, I want to tell you about a website called blackmenszone.com. Now, Black Men's Zone is a site that specifically targets black men. It's a place where black men talk about issues that solely affect them. Now, at Black Men's Zone, the topics will range from news to society, sports, technology, business, food and recipes, you know, some you know, you know brothers got to cook too. Gaming, and some of your brothers like doing some of that. Health and fitness, you know, got to get your workout on. Music, movies, and many other topics. Now, there's not many forums around these days for black men, and because black men have to create them. Now, this particular website is more of a forum based, something simple, not social media. You can write what you need to write, say what you need to say, get on, get off pretty quick. But if you're interested, brothers, to at least go there, and I want you to check it out, engage in the topics, go to blackmenzone.com, sign up for an account, and get engaged in the conversation.